Hi, my name is Mark Samuel. I actually graduated USM in 1989. Yeah. Uh, I, I was only five. <laughs> Actually, at the time that I applied to USM uh, in 87, I was in business for myself. I do uh, consulting and training, coaching with, uh, in business. And for me, it was all about business. Uh, my focus was on team building. I had just created some, uh, my own technology around uh, accountability and both personal and shared accountability. And quite honestly, my whole purpose in coming to to uh, USM was to learn uh, skills in all different kinds of uh, forms of psychology, which they offered here. And it's really quite, you know, quite, quite effective. Uh, I had spent time at a Gestalt Institute where I just learned Gestalt, and I wanted to know not just Gestalt, I wanted to learn about reality therapy and, and uh, you know, different kinds of uh, rational belief systems and just all the different kinds, spiritual as well. But I was into it for the skill of it because I figured that if I could just be a better consultant because I'd have better skills, that I'd be more successful. Basically, I was on that goal line, and that was my whole purpose. What I soon discovered, because the practice of each of these skills was on ourselves, that... I was able to uncover, through greater awareness, many of the unresolved issues that was stopping me from growing. And these unresolved issues, some of them were fears. Some of them, a lot of them were beliefs. Um, basically, I was playing it small. And uh, I didn't know that because what you, you know, if you're not aware of it, then you just keep operating from whatever that paradigm is. And for me, that was, you know, had a lot of self-doubt, a lot of self-criticism, a lot of unworthiness issues that was constantly uh, negating whatever progress I was making in, in my own business. At the time, you know, my vision was just simply to be good at what I do. Once I got through the first year, that vision changed. Now I saw that the potential was to truly impact the world with the kinds of work that I was doing. And, and now it was about getting my work out in a different way, which meant I had to write about it. Well, that's what created my second year project because I had major fears about writing. That was the one thing I just couldn't do. In fact, I had the belief that I was just not born with the skill of writing in me. So uh, I, I was in, you know, prior to coming to USM, I don't even know that, that you guys know this, but prior to coming to USM, I was in therapy for three years to try and get over the anxiety attacks that I would experience anytime someone asked me to write. That's the beauty of USM, because real healing takes place. Now, today, I've written two books, sold over 55,000. I've consulted in, with people from five different continents all over the world, creating accountable organizations, which is really what my passion is. And I owe a lot of that, most of it, to USM and the experience I had here. But in my mind, that isn't the greatest gift. The greatest gift is I have a different relationship with myself that is more kind, less judgmental, more forgiving. And in terms of writing, it's not the books that I published. That's just the goal line. It's the fact that now I actually love to write. And I take weekends off to go up, you know, in the mountains and write because I absolutely love to write. And when someone asks me to write an article or I'm, I'm, you know, just written my third book, it's not published yet, it doesn't matter. It's like I just love to write. And what was before a barrier that literally created fear and a block has now become an open space. And so for me, 
the USM experience, yes, if you're here to learn psychological approaches, that's cool. But it does take courage because there is what I call practical transformation available. Not just transformation in the sense of, you know, unlocking, you know, issues, fears, doubts, worries, etc., but also tools that actually help to be uh, better in your business, better with your families, better with your kids, as you've heard all the people here talk about. That's really the healing that takes place here. And I'm so grateful for what you both have put together in this curriculum. Oh, and one other thing. I graduated in 1989. I'm still a student of USM. I still use the tools almost every day, whether it's self-forgiveness, whether it's the self-counseling, which is absolutely phenomenal. The, it's not like issues go away. It's not like I don't have fears and doubts and concerns. They still show up. But having the tools and the ability to actually process myself through it and get to a place of loving and healing through that on an ongoing basis, it's the greatest gift as my colleagues have shared. Thank you so much for being here.